Well, it's an arduous process, disassembling something that you've taken so long to put together. But it has to be done before you can paint the frame. It's coming. <laughs> so one thing that I'm happy that I did was... Uh, using an elastomeric type uh, motor mount and that way gives me a little wiggle room and I don't feel the vibration of the motor when I'm going down the road. Well I figured I'd show you the uh, fan attached to the motor here now that I got it out. So yeah I just pulled the cover off one day saw the uh, end bolt for the camshaft decided to weld on this little bolt poke a hole through the cover o-rings to keep the seal Keep it from uh, leaking. Yeah, it's so far working pretty good. I'm just using simple green to clean up the parts after I've sanded them down. And we're about ready to paint using um, rust oleum, clean metal primer, and then the safety yellow. So some of you may be wondering why I'm brush painting the frame. Because I'm a cheapskate. Believe I'm done. And last but not least, the emergency brake. So the rear end took quite a bit of consideration figuring out what was exactly I was going to do. I ended up shortening it, bringing the rear down to just a uh, seven inch width, the width of the last plate. Okay, I'm doing a weight test right now. Right now I've got the trike teetering on the scale underneath, as you can tell. I've got about a gallon and a half of fuel. Let's see what it uh, measures out to. All right, now I'm gonna move the trike around until it's floating. There it is, it is now floating. Looks like I'm gonna subtract about five pounds. So, 322 pounds it looks like that's not too bad it's about 100 pounds heavier than the california commuter but then again that was a 110 cc motor this is a 185 so yeah i've been having issues going faster than 50 miles an hour comfortably uh, without this feeling a little squirrely you know twitchy steering short wheelbase that's what's going on here six foot wheelbase so I was thinking of maybe uh, lengthening the rear swing arm that would take a lot of work and then I thought well maybe I can just go right here down to my little steering arm and just bring it up a little more That'll uh, give a lot more play with this at higher speed.
so there's the end result. I can write this off my bucket list. That's been a um, project I've been wanting to work on for 40 years. Finally completed it. Am I real happy with it? No, I would have changed the wheelbase, made it longer, wider body, independent front suspension, amongst other things. But it's still a fun ride. I could say I built it from scratch, and that's a lot to be said, considering I got it up to 62.2 miles an hour. <laughs> um, miles per gallon, haven't tested it yet. Is it licensed? No, it's a scary little ride. <laughs> but like I said, it's a fun ride. Will I make another one? Hell no. Um, I don't got other fish to fry. But And 14 episodes. Man, I'm sorry I'd put you through that. But I appreciate you staying tuned and watching this whole progression. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.